old TA 70s chick here and I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually doing an artist review and today's artist is a little known. Some people might know them and um, they just had one one hit wonder in 1974 and it was called Come and Get Your Love. Most people knew that song but they were much better than that and the group I'm talking about is Redbone. The very first Native American rock band and fantastic band. And you can hear here this song is called Crazy Cajun Cakewalk Band on their uh, first, their debut album, which was a double album, uh, Redbone. And I don't have, I don't have a lot of the, um, I don't have the uh, artwork, but you can let the music speak for itself. Anyway, Redbone were a were a first Native American band to come out in the scene in uh, 1970 with their debut album, which was a double album here, as you can hear, the very first song. And they were a mix, they were a rock band mixed with R&B, funk, Cajun swamp rock, blue-eyed soul, country, Latin, and tribal. The band members, two of them were a pair of bro brothers named Lolly and Pat Vegas, whose um, last name were actually Vasquez. But they were um, Yaqui, uh, Shoshone tribe, and the Mexican American blood. And the band, the uh, bass player Tony Bellamy was Yaqui tribe and Mexican American as well. But the only full-blooded Mexican, not Mexican, uh, Native American was Pete DePoe, and he's also known as Last Walking Bear. He's the drummer who has a uh, type of um, drum beat that he calls the King Kong beat. <laughs> and the guitar player, Lolly Vegas, as you can hear here, he liked the Leslie speakers. They were the uh, Leslie rotating speakers that he hooked his guitar to. And that's one of my favorite. Um, that's what I like about the 70s. They had a lot of this Leslie speaker and Hammond B3 organ, of course, and the uh, drummer, of course, like I said, it was the King Kong beat that the drummer had, and the Leslie speakers here. <laughs> Let's go to, there's another song called Prehistoric Rhythm with the King Kong beat, he says. They've got, there are three albums here. They're, all their albums are good. This one had no hits. The second one called Potlatch had none either, but fantastic album. It's like both of these albums that weren't really, didn't really have the hits were two of their best. Their one, the third album called Message from a Drum, released in December 1971, had a number 21 hit called The Witch Queen of New Orleans, which a lot of people might not remember or even heard of. With the King Kong beat. <laughs> yeah, they were awesome. And their fourth album, uh, it was called Already Here, didn't have any hits either, but they um, did a fantastic remake of the uh, classic, the 1950s, or I think it came out in the 50s or 60s, called Poison Ivy. Everyone knows that song, Poison Ivy. They did a good remake of that. Wavoka, their fifth album, was a little more commercial, radio friendly, a little bit, but it's still a good album. And they contained their number five hit called, oh, what happened? Oh my God, I got a full screen here. <laughs> I don't know if I can see the chat room now. I don't know who's on there, but it just suddenly became big screen. I don't know how, I just touched the uh, mouse. Oh well, I'm still going live anyway. So if you're there, if I don't see you, hello, whoever came into the room, and I'm glad you're here. I'm and discussing again the first Native American rock band called Redbone. And uh, the number five hit from Wovoka was Come and Get Your Love. It was the one that goes, Come and Get Your Love. And the sitar. They're, they're, um, after that, they released two more albums. One called Beaded Dreams Through Turquoise Eyes at the end of 1974, which was to me it was bad it was very bland it was more commercial and had a lot of the strings which strings aren't too bad but in this case scam likely 
I don't know if this is a call out number either, but Lee, if you're there, there it is. 855-407-4769. You might want to give them a call, see what they're up to, see what they're, <laughs> they're going on. Lee is, like I said, he is uh, Lee Cynthia, a scam baiter who, along with Joe Scambait, which is another good scam baiter. They are, oh, there we go. There we go. They're, um, they do a lot of um, calling. They call Indian scammers and mess with them and uh, any other scam numbers that their fans get. They, uh, they uh, go to the chat room and they give the numbers out to them and they call and harass them. And they have shows. Joe Scambate has one, I think, every day or every other day. Cynthia has one every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. But anyway, back in the music, Beat of Dreams Through Turquoise Eyes, to me, wasn't a very good album. And then they came back in 1977 called Cycles, and it was mostly disco-oriented. And um, I'm sorry, but um, some when, when there's disco, when a lot of rock bands do disco songs, like, for instance... Um, wear them to the bone. <laughs> and um, anyway, like Rod Stewart did, Do You Think I'm Sexy? Rolling Stones did Miss You. Kiss did I Was Made for Loving You. And Grateful Dead did a song called Shakedown Street that was funky, kind of disco y. But for a rock band to do a whole disco album, just, just for me, in my opinion, just really doesn't cut it. Let's see, next song. What's this? Let me get another one. Let's see. That's the beat they have. That Leslie and uh, just a fab fantastic band. And anyway, let's go on through the uh, more uh, the facts of Redbone. Where Jimi Hendrix, I think this is Minor Seventh Heaven. Hendrix, who was also part Cherokee, he was the one who inspired all the band members to form an all Native American rock band. And they were signed onto Epic in 1969, where they recorded their debut here, and it was released in January of 1970. And um, some of the members, I think there are two remaining members that are still living, which are Pete, De oh my God, I don't know what's with this, but there we go. But Pete DePoe is the only, um, this is ridiculous. Everybody, I'm going to go ahead and end this stream, and I'm going to log back on because I don't know what's going on with this. So I will be back for the uh, going over all the albums and the songs. I'll be back.